my name is Taylor Muir. As you saw before, here I am today at the Grange College in Hoppers Crossing with the Downer Group and Sher from Winbay Lynn. Uh, why are Downer and Winbay Lynn here today? What we're doing, we're introducing a pilot program called the Young Ambassadors for Industry program. It's a program that's been designed to give students the benefit of uh, knowledge about industry and different sectors from an apprentice's point of view. Why are Downer bringing young ambassadors and apprentice, apprentices into um, schools? The reason we're doing it with apprentices back into schools is because adults tend to talk a very, very different language to what apprentices do. We quite often, when we get to adulthood, forget what it was like to start in the workforce. So by bringing the apprentices back into the program, they can then talk a very similar language um, to what the students are. Quite often they're the same age as the students, so their language is very, very similar. So we're hoping by this using this format, they will then get a much better understanding of what workplace requirements are. And um, what happens after today? After the group session today, uh, the students will need to write cover letters and they will also need to have their resumes submitted to Downer. Downer then go through a selection process to select students for site visits. So from here, not only do they get an understanding of what it's like to work as an apprentice, they actually go onto the site. So they get a visual of where they will be working. So and the reason we've got them to send in their resumes and cover letters is so that it's real experience in applying for a job. It's very much a job process. Yep. And um, why did you choose the format of the smaller groups today? The smaller groups, it's much easier for students to interact in a smaller group. They hear things very differently. It's um, more intimate to be asking questions. They're not as self-conscious in smaller groups. And we've found in the past that it works much, much better and the language and uh, plans a lot better with the students. with me now is Tony and Michelle from Downer and Dalian from Wind Bay Lynn. I'll pass a mic to Dalian to ask Michelle and Tony a few questions. Thank you. So uh, Tony, Michelle, thank you once again for taking this time to come down to the Grange and speak to all of our kids here today. And it's a tremendous uh, commitment on resources from part of the company uh, to come along in an eight strong contingent to speak to the kids and spend all of this afternoon with the kids. So I'll probably start off with uh, Michelle. Uh, Michelle, um, what did you get most out of today's session? Uh, I think it's just offering the kids an alternative to more, the more traditional pathways that we tend to um, really talk about in high schools. Uh, we offer not only the traditional apprenticeships like the mechanical and the electrical, but we also offer another roads-based, more um, labour-intensive, manual labour type of uh, career path that can take them to very successful pathways. So I think that's what I got out of it. I think the ki opening the kids' eyes up to those different alternatives. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Tony, if I could ask you the same question. Uh, yeah, look, from my perspective, it's, uh, it's an organisation like Downer giving back to the community, A. B is also to give kids an exposure of industry. And uh, from our perspective, it is also some level of sustainability uh, for the business, uh, particularly around succession planning and uh, having a talent pool to draw from uh, in the future. Fantastic. And uh, Michelle, today we had 35 students from the Grange uh, that were present today. And I remember last time from Laverton, we had about 60 or 65. And uh, we could have similar numbers at Emmanuel. So well over 100 students uh, you've now connected with from this region. Um, what's the next step uh, in terms of this project? Uh, basically, we've asked the students to provide a resume and cover letter for their interest in actually finding out more about Downer. So we'll offer site visits at various locations across our, our sites in Victoria um, and they'll get to see what we actually do day to day. So just gives them that little bit more exposure. That's the next step basically. Fantastic. And Tony, um, if I could ask you, it's, uh, it's quite tremendous that, uh, what you've done within the organisation to try and sell this project to the company. Uh, how's it going within Downer? Are you, uh, is the enthusiasm for this increasing? Is it staying the same? Uh, what's your experience as we progress with this project? 
Well, a couple of things has happened. Look, we've uh, we've clearly had a, a conversation with our corporate people and made them aware of uh, of this of the process and the engagement uh, of this project. So that's a positive. The second part is uh, we've shared it with our senior senior management group. Uh, Michelle and I are part of that senior management group team. And uh, in essence, there's a level of excitement in terms of at least giving Downer some exposure uh, in the community uh, and uh, through, through industry. Um, so yeah, look, it's exciting times for us moving forward. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eva Bitsikas. I'm the Apprentice Coordinator for Downer Infrastructure. And today here, um, we have our two apprentices, Alex Dumas. She's our electrical apprentice. We have Brent Threfold, our mechanical boiler maker apprentice. And we have Thomas Irenaos, our lab technician. And we're here today at the Grange and we have talked to some of our secondary students here, years 10 and 11, and just wondering how you guys felt it went today. I think today went really well. Uh, I felt that we connected with the students and uh, I think that they got a lot out of today. What about you Brent? Yeah, I think it also went well. It was nice to give someone a hand. Good. And um, Thomas, um, what did you think about your experience and, and how the students reacted to you? Uh, it's definitely good to get the guys uh, involved in what we do and give them a bit of a background experience from where we've come from, where we've started and how we've progressed through the business. It's really good. And this is a really good experience for the students to understand what Dan are doing, perhaps what they can offer, well, what we can offer them in the future. Well, thank you to Downer Groups and Winbay Lynn for this amazing opportunity today and hopefully it will leave the kids with a positive message and a new pathway for them for their career. Again, can we thank Downer for coming in today? It's been fantastic. We still have two more schools to go where we will cover the exact same presentation. One at Cummins South Pacific next week on Tuesday 30th of July and at one at Emmanuel College in Point Cook on Thursday August 1st. Thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it. See you next time.